the man with the plan, the man with the knowledge, the man with the wrestling news. This is the Iceman here on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel. Good Wednesday morning, everybody, and we have a video out there. Um, this is a video sort of like in a response to a video I just saw recently by Sean Zhu Entertainment. Um, a good video, by the way. Um, it was like a thousand ways to die for TNA. And um, <laughs> it it hit me in a way where, it, it you know, you know I give Sean a lot of credit for his creativeness in this because Spike TV does have this program that, or they used to have, and I think they're bringing it back called, called a thousand ways to die. And if you ever watch it, I mean, it was like pretty gruesome in some instances, but uh, he had implemented TNA into a thousand ways to die. And basically saying that uh, Spike is going to have a thousand ways to die episode for TNA Impact Wrestling, which I thought was very creative. Obviously, guys, it's this, you know, there's no truth to the rumor. But I thought uh, with the imagination of Sean and um, implementing this with that program from Spike TV and obviously TNA Impact Wrestling, it was a very good concept. Now, uh, with all that being said, uh, there's still controversy going on about Spike TV and TNA Wrestling as far as the contract goes. Um, you know, a few days ago, everybody thought that TNA is totally canceled from Spike TV. Well, I, I don't really know if that's the case right now because I, I do honestly think they're still in negotiations. And in fact, you know, Spike is trying to, you know, pay less money to Air Impact. And the reason being, you know, Spike is playing this little manipulative game that Ted Turner did back with the Crockett promotions back in the late 80s. And um, it worked for Ted Turner. Um, I think people are too smart in the, um, the industry all the way around to really fall for this once again. But in any event... Um, TNA Impact Wrestling is one of Spike's highest rated shows. Bellator is right up there on top. And, um, you know, for all this stuff to go around saying that Spike is canceling TNA. You know, I've talked about this in videos. When, 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 I, when I first heard about it, I, I reacted to it. And I wish I would have waited a little longer and really thought about it because... You know, in the uh, common sense of the world, let's face it. Are you going to really cancel one of your highest rated shows? I don't think so. I mean, if you want to move Bellator for two hours on a Thursday night or whatever, however you want to do it, you know, you just move Impact to another night. And obviously it's got to, you know, really not go up against like a Monday Night Raw um, main event on the WWE Network on a Tuesday night wouldn't be so bad. But you got to understand, too, you got a lot of highly rated network shows on a Tuesday night. So you got to look at all of this that's involved. I mean, for me, I think a Saturday night would be the best. But then, again, they think the demographics of the younger people, they all go out on a Saturday night because it's a weekend and whatnot. But, you know, something, give it a shot and try it. If it doesn't work, then change it to a different night. I mean, you don't know until you try it. That's the bottom line. And um, But I, I did like the concept of the video that Sean View Entertainment did. Uh, I thought it was really, honestly, very, very creative. Uh, with that being said, um, a man that's got 33,000 subscribers, over 10 million video views, there we have, we we look downward a little bit, and um, we have us little people, the Andre Corbeils, the big Ray Wrestling, one video, one wrestling video.com. We have the big show, Bill Schuyler. Now, if you guys haven't watched Bill Schuyler, 
check him out because you want to know something. He's old school wrestling like myself. And uh, it's fun to listen to his opinions um, and what he has to say about a lot of things in professional wrestling. And, it, and it's it's very, you know, informative as well. And, of course, we got Andre Corbeil, the present day guy here who used to live on the eastern side of Canada, who has now moved out west to Calgary. Um, but still, he's in touch with us all. And um, he's one of those passionate guys here in, in the YWC, IWC, whatever you want to call it, in the world of professional wrestling, so to speak, that you know really has it down-tuned. Um, if you watch the Can-Am wrestling show on Saturday nights or whenever they do air them, I think because of their, you know, the schedule now with Andre being on the west side of Canada and Calgary and Big Ray being here in New York or in New York, I should say, not here because I'm in Connecticut, um, you know, the timing of things. And then you have a lot of, um, you know, Skype issues or whatever video issues you may have, but um, all in all, there's a lot of good stuff out here to watch. Bill Apter as well um, is another man. And, you know, for me, these guys, you know, you got to understand, I'm an old school wrestling fan, and these guys are as well. They talk about present day wrestling, but they also have a lot of knowledge about the old school wrestling. And that's why I'm so like more interested in watching a lot of their videos. And I will say this about these guys. Um, when they put up a video and you read the title of the video, it is not deceiving. It's right on the money. Um, they don't put up a title to lead you astray like a lot of people here on YouTube are doing. And, uh, and, and, and I take that back. It's not a lot of people. It's, just, it's, it's very few. And, uh, but again, the big show, Bill Schuyler, Andre Corbeil, Andre Corbeil on Wrestling News Talk on Facebook, Big Ray, Can-Am Wrestling Show with Andre Corbeil, OneWrestling.com, Bill Apter. You guys... Check all this stuff out because it's it's great informative information. And for me, this is what I want. You know, um, I'll see a title of a video and I'll say, huh, what are you kidding me? And I will check it out. And the title of the video has nothing to do with the context of the video. And I'll just say to myself, okay, all right, I got, you know, thrown off again. But again, you know, these guys, Corbeil, Big Ray, Bill Apter, Bill Schuyler, and myself, the Iceman here on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel and on the Iceman V2013 YouTube channel, a.k.a. Jeffrey Rose, and the Iceman's Wrestling Extreme on Facebook. Check us all out. Um, all of us here are old school wrestling, and if there's any information you need to know or you want to know, Ask any one of us because we'll be more than happy to tell you our opinions, our thoughts, or whatever information you need to, you know, want to have answered. So I love it, and uh, this is how it all goes. So check it out. And again, check out Sean's View Entertainment video about a thousand ways to die for TNA being on their show. I mean, I'm going to tell you something. Don't take it to heart because he did it. Um, and I thought it was a very good concept, the way he did it, uh, just for the simple fact they're both on Spike TV. And, you know, with all the talk about TNA, you know, losing Spike, he sort of put them together and, and it ended up making a pretty darn good video. So I enjoyed it anyway. But again, just don't take it to heart. So peace out, everybody. Have yourself a great Wednesday. This is the one and the only Iceman.